Hello YouTube. How was your New Year festivities? We had a, a great time. It was my 10th anniversary with my significant other. So we went to um, one of our favorite pubs um, in a place called the Brightwater Commons. And we had a huge platter of deep fried prawns, which was fucking delicious. Had a couple of beers. Um, then we retired home and drank some Black Oyster Catcher Rosé wine and drank a bottle of Moet and Chandon Brut. So it was a lovely, lovely time. Um, I unfortunately peaked to a little bit too early and didn't get to see in the new year, but um, oh, it's fine. It's all right to let your hair down once in a while. So that was fun. At the moment, I'm smoking an odd tobacco to me um, in my Savinelli Tundra 144 King Size with a cool kind of wood grainy, let's see if you can see it there, wood grainy kind of stem. Um, the tobacco I'm smoking. is something which confuses me. Um, it's Prairie Wind, um, which is a blend, as far as I know, exclusively available um, with Four Noggins, the online tobacco retailer. I can't keep this bitch in its front. And the reason it confuses me is we've got, sorry, that's my Razor's cleaning station in the background making all that fucking noise. And the gardener next door weed eating. Um, the reason it confuses me is on tobacco reviews people are ranting and raving about it being this awesome vapor blend that's a must smoke for anyone who likes vapors and I am a vapor whore like you have no idea I fucking love Virginia Perique it's awesome. Um, but this tobacco has this artificial topping or casing or sauce or whatever you want to call it and it's just it's bordering on the aromatic for me and I don't get it I found one review on tobacco reviews I found one review on tobacco reviews that mimics the taste of the tobacco that I'm smoking as prairie wind but every other one makes no mention of the artificial sauce so I can't help but wondering if the tobacco got switched as a mix-up or something like that because this tobacco is not what it doesn't fit the flavor profile of what other people are smoking so that's a cause of consternation for me. Um, if this is what Prairie Wind is, I don't think I'll be buying it again. Um, on my last big tobacco order I bought, um, with that razor just shut up. Um, on my last big tobacco order I bought, I think it was eight ounces of the stuff because it was reviewed so highly or ate it so highly. Um, but yeah, I won't be buying it again if this is what it is supposed to be. Um, okay, so as you guys know, my channel's called Piping Hot Games. Piping, obviously, because of pipes. Hot, because I fucking love coffee. And I will do some coffee reviews at a later stage. And of course, games, because video gaming is a huge part of my life. At the moment, I am playing Dragon Age Inquisition on the PS3 and man it's one hell of a game people um, 
went before, so it's an Afrikaans expression, went mad um, over Skyrim. And I find Skyrim a little bit slow and a little bit too open world. It's, and there's my parrot screaming in the background, so apologies for all the background noise. I've got parrots, I've got gardeners, I've got fucking cleaning stations for razors, I've got my domestic worker in the background talking on her cell phone. Um, um, what was I? Oh yes. I went mad for Skyrim, it was a bit too open world for me. It was too... I felt too alone in the game. It was like you're by yourself in this expansive wilderness and that didn't really tickle my fancy, whereas with Dragon Age Inquisition, you're part of a four-team party, sorry, four-member party, and you go on your quests with the other members of your team, and you obviously you can choose the, um, you can choose from different characters you meet within the game to tag, to tag along with you. Um, It's a huge game. I mean, it's just the maps are insane. I believe it's bigger than Skyrim. But because you travel with people, you don't get that feeling of isolation that you do in, in Skyrim. Thoroughly enjoying it at the moment. I've logged close to 40 hours in it since Christmas Day. And it's just been, it, it's been wild. It's been fucking awesome. So I will do a proper review on the game at a later stage. Um, you can also check out my website that will soon be up and running. I'll give you all the details on that later. Um, that website is where I'll post the written reviews of my games and just opinion articles on the gaming industry. And of course, I will link uh, my YouTube videos to my website. Um, at the moment it's still under construction, um, but you can check it out, it's www.lonegaming.com, that's L-O-N-E-G-A-M-I-N-G.com, um, it is still under construction, so I think at the moment it's just got um, a couple of my videos embedded, but it's really going to grow as is this channel, and yeah, hopefully it'll go from strength to strength. So yeah, to summarize, uh, Prairie Wind, what the fuck, uh, Dragon Age, you're awesome. I uh, hope you all had a good uh, New Year's Eve celebrations, you weren't hanging too much the next day, and make 2015 kick ass. Until next time, Justin out.